Hello, um, I'm Jim Parkin, Senior Model Maker at Ardman Animations, and I'm here with the stars of Early Man, and we're going to have a go at a bit of hognobbing. <laughs> <laughs> so we have everything we need in front of us. This is your kit right. and everything we need to make. I'm going to be so bad at this. <laughs> This is, now, uh, everybody says this, but yeah. with the right tuition Good. and the right so materials. So it's all about the teacher. Blame the teacher. Exactly. <laughs> so it all lies on me if it all goes wrong. So we have cocktail sticks. Now, normally we'd have a highly engineered armature. Yeah. Now, we don't have the time or the budget yeah. for that today. No okay. CNC blades. So we're going to go cocktail yeah. sticks, toothpicks, whichever your preferable term is. Yeah. Wow, okay. We've got white for tusks and eyeballs, a bit of black for hoofs or hooves. We're going to take our clay and we have three Ooh. strips of clay. Yes. One, okay. two, oh, three. So the first challenge for you guys is to separate your clay. Okay. Not as easy as it might seem. <laughs> so we're going to need yeah. two of these. Yeah. Okay. Great. And what I want you to do is squash it up. Oh, yeah. But you Get did nice put them warm. together first, right? Um, you can do whichever way you like. As okay. long as they end up as a kind of warm clod of yeah. clay or ball of clay. That's what we're rolling. aiming for. <laughs> so what we're aiming for is a kind of, I'd say, like a potato, really. Potato. And we all know potato, so we're all good with potatoes. Yeah, chef. Yeah. Uh, something Am I right in thinking spuddy. we're doing the body? Here? We are yeah. doing the body here. <laughs> okay, so, so we want to match that sort of... Absolutely. So we're looking for something kind a little bit... Kind of like bit, a mm. oval. A little bit like that, but we're going to okay. just flatten the end so we've got a nice flat pl platform for his head. So we have a body. Yeah. We're going to take one of our spared no expense sculpting tools and we're going to prong hognob with a cocktail stick. Can I just have can I just have a little look at yours? In the flat yes. in the flat end. Is that in the right? flat end, yeah. This is okay. gonna yeah. pin yeah. hognob's head on. Okay. We don't want it too much sticking out. Otherwise you've gone slightly I noticed you've gone slightly lower. sort of lower than the centre. Lower, yeah. There's a there's a good reason for that. So we've reason. got a bit more length with the snout. So we're looking for something that looks a little bit like that. But at this stage we're not gonna worry too much because Funny and thummy. Funny is and the thummy. Key. Funny is and that thummy. genuinely the sort of art yeah, and motto? It's very much so like kind of mantra. The... It's yes. brilliant. I'm going to use Is that what he said to you in the sound booth? <laughs> funny, funny and thummy. <laughs> now um. we have our last whole strip oh, yeah. of clay, and what I want you to do: okay. take it in your hands, and I'd like you to fold it end to end like so, and gently press together. Oh. And it should split down the middle. Yeah. Oh yeah. Leaving you with two hopefully equual. Oh, bits of clay. Oh, I've made a terrible mess. Uh, one that's is, quite all right. That's one quite is right. shorter than the other. Choose your yeah, favourite. Everyone's got a favourite. This one. Choose which one you, you prefer. Yeah. And again, squash it with the clay, and we're going to make a sausage, a cocktail sausage. How are we looking? Yeah, looking good. good. Looks wonderful. You guys are pros. This is looking good so far. Yeah. So what I want you to do now is take your pinching fingers, yeah. and on one end, just pinch out the top, and we're just giving. Is that his brow? A bone? bit of an eyebrow. Now, which is what we call the painted oh. Wallace and Gromit or Nick Park. Mono brow. Yeah. It's that one piece of clay that gives a lot of emotion yeah. in in our characters. And then what we're going to do is just mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> gently tease round the front of the clay into a kind of L shape thummy or C shape. And thummy. Exactly. Now you're getting it. <laughs> How far? Oh, you want to oh, go yeah. full? Quite perky. Full. No, that's a big like three angle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we've got a nice kind of buoyant face. Yeah. Well, it's looking very and a thummy. Cheeky snout. Now get your finger in there and just. Slightly flatten the end yeah. to make a nice snap. Snap. Oh, that's very very good. So it's kind of it's all you're, you're giving away all your secrets here. Well, this is it. This is my this is my <laughs> thing is to try and translate it for <laughs> right. children from five to ninety-five. Oh, how to how to, to make something close to to yeah. our real creations as well. It's weirdly satisfying. <laughs> yeah. Now we're going to pin our head yeah. onto the body. So what we want to do is just align the snout with the cocktail stick and kind of. Okay, so the cocktail the sticks should together. go through the snout. Yeah, preferably. So we're just going to use our fingers and the warmth of our hands just to smooth the face across onto the body. So we're melding oh, those, I see. Oh, I see. Like those yes. shapes together, really. So it's all into one there we kind are. Of lump, really. You can also use, again, our toothpicks, cocktail sticks to smooth in as well. Brilliant. So already we're starting to see something hog like Resembling. I think. Absolutely. Yeah. So we're going to put that to okay. one side for a second. Right. Now we're going to need some ears for our hognob. Oh, yeah. So we have this remaining clay now. Although we've got the same amount of clay and we've had the same instructions, I think it's fair to say our pigs are looking quite different yeah. to each other, aren't they? So um, nice. it's going to be can't down to your individual stand, pig as to how big your ears are going to be. But I'm going to take roughly that much clay. And I've got these four lines running down the clay, which really helps. Okay. So. That means you can split it in half and have two little lumps. Okay, of clay, so like so. Right. take a little square. Yeah. Now we're aiming for symmetry here. Okay. 
And you can see on my pre-made pig, we've got kind of leaf shaped or literally I want you to make a pig's ear of it. <laughs> so <you're gonna> make, <laughs> or two okay. preferably. Cool. So that's the real key. So again, getting the clay nice and warm. That's the real key with this. And then squashing it down. Into a kind of a sort of oblong. leaf shape or yeah. Yeah. diamond shape roughly, and then you can kind of flatten it down. Yeah. We've got one ear like so, and then we want another of those as well. Okay. So pop your ears on. And Again, so you go downwards from, from here, like to smooth it. You'd that's go it, like kind of drawing it together and again Amazing. use those. That is seriously good. It's rather good actually, yeah. I'm I've never done it before. <laughs> <laughs> so again, using the cocktail sticks to help sculpt the two together. So we're aiming for nice flappy ears, a good brow and a nice snout as well. Are we allowed so to put them in like a funny like Absolutely. way? Absolutely, so add your own character right. in there. Right. Right. Adding character Feeling. to yours, I was just trying to like <laughs> make them vaguely it. resemble something. Feeling like. confident, I like yeah. it, it's good. So we have something that looks vaguely like this, yeah. pig-like. Now we need to add some facial features. So we can take your sculpting tool and poke your pig in the nose. Like so go steady yeah. on. Not too deep, yeah. okay. but like so, and just give it a little wiggle around. We need obviously a pair of nostrils. Okay. And now I've done this upside down, so it's hard to get a symmetry, but we're aiming for ah. similar sized holes. So, like so. Okay, and we need to do the same for eye sockets. So, again, poke him in the eye. <laughs> Very typically, you can see all of the characters have their eyes actually meeting in the middle. Yeah. In a kind ah, of figure okay, of eight. So, so these... we're making an eye socket. So, go fairly deep again and put the two holes together so your eyeballs will actually touch, there we are. touch as well. Beautiful. Okay. Excellent. So we have Very that, and we need a couple of creases on his nose. You can see we've got three oh, lines yeah, running yeah. down there. There we are. So we can just pop those on. Again, cocktail sticks will do all of this work for you, really. So one, two, three. So we're going to add a little bit of a pig smile as well. So Great. you can use your cocktail stick and it's tricky to shape, but if you kind of put the point in yeah. like so, and then rock the oh, cocktail that. stick around like so, you can kind of give it a smile, make it go under the snout. And do it again on this How side. How close would you do it to the tip of the nose? Um, you said going underneath, right? That's it, going, underneath, right? it going underneath, and try and make those two lines kind of meet, meet up. There we go. So kind of giving a bit of a, a cheeky smile. Yeah. Great. Okay, so we have yeah. our kind of rat's tail pigtails. Yeah. What I would do yeah. is give them, bend them over on an angle like so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then give it a little bit of a corkscrew twist gently so we don't tear the clay, but we want a nice little piggy tail. You did that so well, and you made it look easier than it is. It's it's deceptively tricky, but um, a few bits of practice. Well, actually, no, you're a natural. Look at that. There we go. You've, you're born to make pig tails. Well, I wish <laughs> you couldn't make the rest of my ears, but <laughs> was as good as my tail. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to put those on his bum, he nice is. and perky on the top. On the top, right. right okay. So we've got a little bit of a curl to it, and again, Tricky, so Look use the that. cocktail stick to blend that in. Now we've got our rolled leg clay, and yep. we can just Break. split that into yep. four so we can fold it in half and twist. Yes. Oh, this didn't yeah. go well like last so. time. And then fold it in half and twist oh, again. Exactly, you're all over this now. Ah, here we go. One, two, three, four. And that's the legs partially done. Now the legs are rather like a golf tee, so we can just push the ends down like so and just give a little bit of a Hoof okay. like shape to it. You can also roll it in your fingers to kind of give that nice golf tee <laughs> shape. So it's kind of a very classic Ardman kind of rubber hose for a leg and mm. then nice cartoony shapes really. So I think we're going to revisit legs in a minute, but okay. I think we want to pop some eyeballs in okay. our pigs yeah. as well. So we've all got some white clay, really nice and simple. Great. Two tiny, tiny bits. balls of clay, roll them on your hands, like so. Now, you probably won't need as much as you think. I'm constantly. Oh. Making us oh, so you just divided there. a. Take a little bit off and just pop that. If you can see that, just pop that in there. And if it's too big, obviously you can revisit. Revisit. Okay, we're getting close now. He's really starting to look a little bit more like oh. hognob. Yeah, my, my guy's got flat eyes. Oh. Now to really bring it to life, without losing the eyeballs. Yeah. Take two little tiny bits of clay. Yeah. Like so, little tiny. Oh, to give him pupils. And then put pupils in there. Yeah. Now this is the bit where you have to be careful not to make him go cross-eyed right. or slightly Marty Feldman kind of. Yeah. Whoops, that's a bit big. There we go. 
And that really changes the character. The bigger the pupil, the kind of cuter or the younger they'll look. So how are we doing with eyes? There we go. Look, this is oh, see, look at that. already <laughs> coming to life. So all right. this is mine. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yours, I think, it, we can all agree, is yeah, it's excellent. It's yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, I think execution. I'm, I'm rather liking the stern look on this, actually. It's got a coy grin, He's, which I rather like. Yeah. Um, a good set of ears as well. It's, uh, and you've certainly embraced the funny and the thummy. I'm already laughing, so that's, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> good. Good. <laughs> and, and Maisie, I think that's... Actually, I think that's, there's a career. I think yeah, there's, you're really showing your remarkable. animation uh, background but I think there, Maisie I think. grew up right next to Ardman, so I think so that's yeah. going <laughs> in for Saturday practice. It's kind of in the air, Absolutely, in the ether. Absolutely, yeah. Um, Modelling clay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, no, I think he's, he looks rather forlorn. Um, yeah. I don't think you should Slightly be impressed, Hognob. Yeah, I think you've kind yeah. of yeah. No, I'm like he's no, no, kind of <laughs> captured an emotion in there um, that's you. quite beautiful. Surprised. <laughs> so yeah. hopefully that's given you a bit of a taster as to you know how much work goes into a puppet. Yeah. Wow, um, yeah, it's and really amazing. Do you know uh, consider a career? In animation. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> that, can you hold that up for everybody? That is. I think we should that. show these probably to uh, yeah, so we can get a to good, Nick. a good Nick. view. I yeah, certainly show there them to go. Nick and Wrong see. side of the animation. Hopefully, you've got an idea of what goes into making something like Hognob and enjoyed us uh, making our Hognobs as well. Um, the film comes out Friday the 26th of January, so please do come along and watch it um, and grab yourself some clay and have a go at making your own Hognob as well. Mm-hmm. <laughs>great so unfortunately uh, the guys ran out of time and have had to shoot off but um, we still have a few things to do with our hognob so we need a pair of teeth and some legs to complete the look so I'm going to take you through that now step by step and you can finish yours in your own time as well what we're going to do is take a little bit of white clay and we're going to make little kind of tusk like raindrop shapes for those nice little tusks on the side and just pop a pair of those either side like so. So just press those on, not too much, you don't want to squidge them. Make sure they're nicely stuck on. There's one and here's the second one. Brilliant, so we've got a nice pair of tusks for our hognob and then the all-important legs. Now the legs are like a golf tee and then for the hoof itself, tiny little piece of black and we're just making a kind of toenail shape or crescent shape that we can lay on to the foot. And then you can use, again, the pointed end of the cocktail stick. And if you lay that onto the hoof like so, and then push it in and roll it underneath the foot, you open up a little triangular split in the hoof and that'll give it a nice kind of natural look as well. And you can also dress that in by adding a little bit of texture with the cocktail stick as well. So we have four legs ready to go. Now we need to put some bones into our legs so we can actually stand up. So again, we're gonna take four cocktail sticks and pop those down the legs. Now this is the tricky bit. If you twist it with your thumb and finger, a bit like a drill bit, it should worm its way down the leg. So you have a little bit of stick poking out and that's gonna then push into the pig body Four legs ready to go on. So I would choose the two best legs to go on the front. And we just pin them into the body like so. Just make sure they're nicely attached. Right. Make sure your pig can stand happily. So, so the time for adjustments before we get on to the final kind of dressing bit and add some texture to your hognob. A standing pig. Again, we're going to employ cocktail sticks to add a bit of texture and we're just simply going to kind of rake the clay up into an interesting kind of shaggy haircut and you can work your way all the way around in a direction and kind of help to knit those bits of clay together around the legs as well. Repeat all the way along until it looks like that and you're done. <laughs> <laughs> 